what's happening everyone welcome to our youtube channel don't forget to check out our website infixitonline.com once you're there you can click on this tutorial request link fill out the form here give us all the information about the software title that you want to learn more about or the hardware task whether it's learning a new application installing a new hard drive or hooking up your home network diagnosing the virus whatever the problem is you can fill out this form and get back to us and we'll help you out as best we can or you can send us a message on YouTube and we'll get back to you also but going to our website is the fastest way to get a response from us alright so now that we took care of that let's get into this current tutorial or how to video in this tutorial we're going to show you how to install an Apple Airport card inside of a PowerBook titanium laptop Okay, this is a power book. They have a few different versions, but for the titanium, this installation will all be the same. Okay, just to show you there. And this is the airport card, of course. You can buy it from eBay, or you can get it brand new. If they even sell them brand new, I'm not even sure. All right, but the process is real simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take out the eight screws four six seven the eight screws off the bottom of your titanium laptop and you're going to disconnect the bottom cover of course the first thing you're going to do is disconnect your battery which you are going to do now okay then you're going to disconnect your eight screws you're going to unscrew the eight screws and what you're going to need is a a torque eight a torque eight screw on the size okay to take these screws out Okay, once you disconnect your eight torque screws, what you're going to do is start from the corner where the battery is and just slightly lift to disconnect the clips. Okay, you see your clips come apart, and that's it, the case comes off. What you see here, put that to the side, and always make sure you keep your screws together. I like to use some tape when I'm dismantling the whole laptop to keep each screw with each component alright just to give a little overview you see your hard drive here this is your optical drive if you want to change that and here's where your airport card will go okay so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna connect the wireless cable to the airport card goes right in the middle slot here so you can see is this slot it's the middle slot okay okay that snaps in pretty easy then you're just gonna go in the white case in here and make sure the airport sign is facing down and your model number and everything is facing up how you see here Okay, and it only goes in one way, so you can't go wrong. Make sure everything is nice and flat with your airport cable and everything. Put your casing back on top. Make sure everything is in line as much as you can rules line up you really can't go wrong and you start the process of screwing your screws back in once you have installed your airport card secure all your screws put your battery back in and you power it up now you want to test to make sure that your airport card is installed correctly alright so what you're going to do is you're going to go to the apple symbol next to finder and you're going to go to about this Mac pretty sure there's other ways to go about this but this is the most way to which okay then it shows you the information about this Mac then you're going to go to more info ok 
pane on the left pane here under under contents hardware and then you see network you're going to look for airport card okay and then it's going to show you the information about your airport card airport card information the card type the local the firmware version etc so we know that I have installed okay then the next thing to do is go in this right top corner here and you select on it and it will show you the wireless networks that's in this range where you can then connect to your wireless network okay when I clicked on this the wireless network is telling me that it's the new port has been detected and it's asked me to verify that it's been configured correctly. Okay, so I select OK. Then I select on Apply. And by the way, the operating system I'm using is Tiger. This is OS X 10 Tiger. Okay, now with Leopard or with the new version Snow it might automatically configure this I'm not sure okay then you see here it says the airport card it's turned on but it's not connected to a network and then from there you can go and connect to your preferred network alright so that's it for this current tutorial thank you for visiting another tutorial from infixitonline.com don't forget to visit our youtube channel youtube.com slash infixitonline you can find us on twitter infixitonline or facebook infixitonline also alright so infixitonline the next best thing on the net peace